unlike say Syria or Myanmar where the government was hostile to any kind of accountability efforts because they themselves were complicit in crimes, here we have a democratically elected government that has justice and law enforcement authorities and a mandate to deal with crimes that are occurring on its sovereign territory. So the international community is trying to support this any way we can. Uh, there may well be a mix of, of international and domestic approaches to this, but our focus is really centered on supporting the Ukrainian national authorities. So everybody's got a handheld, everybody's yeah. taking video, everybody's taking pictures. The, uh, the government of Ukraine has even created websites for people to upload pictures. But is all of that admissible in court? Much of it probably will not be usable. But one thing that it does do is uh, often corroborate information you have otherwise. It, it, it may not stand sure. alone as you know, conclusive evidence, but it can provide very compelling corroboration. This is really a country that was a victim of naked aggression and they want to defend their territory. They, they want to stand up for rule of law and that means investigating and prosecuting these crimes and we want to help them to do that and I think that's important to do. Clearly Putin felt like he was powerful enough and shielded enough that he would never face any sort of justice. He may be right in, in the long run but he will certainly have a pariah status that will attach to him uh, and even more so if he's indicted and so hopefully that does deter future actions like this but it, it's very hard to gauge.